The removal of sutures is a simple but important skill to be able to perform correctly. If done poorly or at an inappropriate duration after the closure of the wound, then it has the potential to lead to infection, permanent skin marking, or even wound dehiscence. But before we carry on, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new content releases. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can save 20% off Surgical Teaching Premium. Okay, let's make a start. In terms of the correct timing for removing sutures, there's no hard and fast rule. The speed of wound healing varies significantly for different areas of the body, as you can see here. And also, it may be affected by the presence of other patient-related factors, such as immune suppression, neoplasia, and malnutrition. In areas of the body where leaving sutures in situ for too long can lead to permanent or unsightly skin marking, for example, on the face, then we can typically remove alternate sutures before then removing the rest a couple of days later. Or, we may choose to support the wound using adhesive wound taping after having removed the sutures, as this can help prevent dehiscence and overstretching of the scar. If you've not already watched our videos on how to perform basic suturing techniques, such as interrupted suturing or horizontal and vertical mattress suturing, then I definitely recommend that you check those videos out as well. In most cases, the equipment that we need to remove sutures is found in pre-made suture removal packs. These include sterile gloves, disposable forceps, a curved blade suture cutter, some sterile gauze, and a clinical waste disposal bag. Additionally, we'll also need an alcohol wipe, a sharps disposal bin, and potentially some adhesive skin tape strips and a dressing if the wound requires additional support and protection after having removed the sutures. The process of removing sutures is typically totally pain-free, and patients tolerate it extremely well without the need for any analgesia. After ensuring the patient is in a comfortable position, we then wash our hands and put on our gloves. We then clean the wound with an antimicrobial alcohol wipe before we then start to remove the sutures. We do this by gently grasping the suture knot with our disposable forceps. And using the suture cutter, we cut the suture closest to the surface of the skin. The forceps are then used to slowly pull the knot and suture away from this cut end. This ensures that the cut end of the suture is removed without unintentionally dragging suture that's been outside of the skin through the suture tract and potentially leading to an infection. Having removed the suture, we then place it within the clinical waste disposal bag. The process is then repeated for the rest of the sutures, which are removed in exactly the same manner, until all of the sutures have been successfully removed. Again, note that we do not pull the suture away from the wound. Instead, we always pull it gently across the wound. Otherwise, this would risk potentially opening up the wound and causing dehiscence. If we're unsure as to the strength of the wound at the time of suture removal, then we may choose, as we previously mentioned, to remove only alternate sutures, or even support the wound by using adhesive surgical tape. Having finished removing the sutures, we then safely dispose of the curved blade suture cutter in the shop's disposal bin. If you found this video helpful, then make sure you subscribe to our channel for more great free content. Or, if you want to make learning for med school and board exams easier, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com and check out our expert endorsed videos, high yield revision questions, and our supportive online community. Surgical Teaching was designed by doctors to help students learn smarter. And right now, you can enjoy all of our great content for less with 20% off our annual premium subscriptions when using the code STYouTube20. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.